And again, if you have any questions as we go through this, just uh, feel free to post them in the Q and A. Okay, so let's begin. Welcome. Today's workshop is going to be approximately 45 to 60 minutes. I really have no idea. This is a complete guess. Uh, it's going to go as long as necessary. I want to make sure that we finish this um, in a way where you're crystal clear and you know exactly what to do next, okay? So if it goes longer, cool. If it's shorter, sweet. I can't see it going much shorter than 45 minutes, though. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Ted, and I've been able to make over $1.5 million with online sales in the vegan niche. $500,000 of which came from last year with a high ticket offer, okay? Um, and if there's one thing that I wish everyone could understand about making money online, it's that even if I were to lose all my money again, because at one point I was like $30,000 in debt, even if I was to lose it all again, I had to start from scratch tomorrow with no audience, and no product. I could still start earning it all back in just a couple of days because I have the knowledge and skills for life. Okay. And no one can ever take that away from me. And once you learn how to do that too, no one can ever take that away from you either. So now, how would you guys like to obtain the same knowledge and develop the same skills yourself to be set for life financially as well? Type of me in the chat if you want that as well. The same knowledge and skills that you can develop for the rest of your life and have for the rest of your life to be able to start making bank online anytime. Cool. So there's so many different ways of making money online, right? Let's be clear. There's drop shipping. There's... Amazon, there's high ticket, there's low ticket, there's memberships, there's coaching, there's courses, there's so many different ways of doing it. So today we're going to primarily be talking about high ticket digital products like coaching and courses. Um, uh, here's actually what we're going to cover today. General overview. We're going to talk about the difference between high ticket and low ticket. We're going to talk about how to know if you're even cut out for high ticket because let's face it, some people are not cut out for high ticket. Uh, we're going to go into what makes an irresistible offer. So when people see it, they have to buy it. We're going to talk about what to include in your high ticket offer. We're going to talk about how to structure your offer. We're going to talk about how to price your offer. We're going to talk about how to deliver a high ticket offer. And we're going to talk about how to sell a high ticket offer. Okay. Is this all what you came for? Type a yes if this is exactly what you came for. Type a refund if you're like, screw this, I want out. This is dumb. I don't want to learn this. <laughs> Big yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. So, all on the same page. Again, if there's anything else that we don't, that you want to know, but we don't cover, just post in the q and I'm happy to take everything that's in my head and just give it to you today. All right. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, oh yeah. And at the very end, uh, we're going to do some Q and A and I'll also invite you to a new community that I'm creating outside of Facebook. So type a, uh, Type off Facebook if you wish you could spend more time off Facebook, but still learning and developing and being part of a community. But you just want to be off Facebook because you're sick of all the distractions that are on there and all the privacy and all that uh, garbage that they got going on there. Off Facebook, off Facebook, off Facebook. Okay, cool. So make sure to stay to the end and I'll show you how to uh, join that community. Before we start, any questions for me? You can feel free to post these questions in the chat before we start. I want to make sure we're clear and then we can dive really deep into this. Type no if there's no questions. That way I'm not waiting. I appreciate you guys' interaction. A lot of interaction in the chat is going to be necessary here. I'm going to be asking you guys questions uh, probably throughout. Who is my teacher? I have so many teachers. You guys are my teachers. <laughs> I think you can learn something from everyone. I got lots of teachers. Okay, well, I'll ask you guys a question. I'll ask you guys a question. I mean, can I ask you a question? Yes or no? Can I ask you guys a question right now? I got a couple really deep questions for you that I'd love to get into right now. You know, it says, yes. Main teacher in the last two months? That's a good question. I don't really have a main teacher the last two months. I really, um, gosh, that's a good one. Main teacher in the last two months, maybe Neville Goddard, probably Neville Goddard, Neville Goddard, boom. Cool. So my question for you is, 
what are your income goals for the coming month? So in this case, no, it's February now. What are your goals for March? If you're watching the replay of this, what are your goals for the following upcoming month? Type in the chat how much money you want to make in the coming month. Yelena says 70K. Okay, so in March, 70K. Lisa says 6K, okay? What else we got? Fiona, 5K. Doreen, 10K. I've never had to do that before. I would be happy with 2K. Okay. 5K, 5K. I was trying to get a ballpark where you guys are. Okay, this is interesting. 10K, 10K from Mark. Okay, really interesting. So the person who picked the highest number is Yelena. She said 70K. I just think it's interesting because she's been working pretty closely with me over the past few months in her online business. So it's really interesting what that kind of proximity does. Uh, like when you're working with a coach or someone, your ambitions and expectations are probably a lot higher than someone who, for example, Michelle saying, I never had to do that before. I'd be happy with two grand. Really interesting expectation. The difference is there. Um, okay. So keep that income goal in mind and just know that it's 100% possible. All those numbers you guys said, whether it's 70K or 2K or 10K, somewhere in the middle, it's 100% possible. You guys just got to focus. Type focus if you believe me when I say that, but it's a matter of focus. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. You can get help on actually executing it. If you stay focused, it's going to work. You guys stay focused. Yeah. So many distractions out there. Most people can't focus on anything long enough to make anything happen. So focus. And Mark, you might want to change your chat settings to everyone. Okay, cool. So with that in mind, now we know that. Let me know this. What's your ideal day in life vision as an online entrepreneur? I want you guys to just write out three words. What do you want to do in the morning? What do you want to do in the afternoon? And what do you want to do at nighttime? Just write out the three words and hit enter. Like, I'll give you an example in case you're wondering. Um, wake up without an alarm clock. Work on creative work throughout the day and go to bed feeling very fulfilled. Can you repeat the question? The question is, what is your ideal day in life as an online entrepreneur? If you want to say help others, be creative, have balance. Okay. <laughs> Michelle, exactly what you said, Ted. Cool. Lisa, clients, my time. Doreen, work in the morning, play in the afternoon, and self-care night. Oh, I love that. I like that a lot. That's really cool. Work in the morning. That's like my favorite time to work as well. Play in the afternoon. I like that as well. And self-care at night. That's awesome. Cool. Thanks, Doreen. Okay. Uh, Mark saying energy, have clear schedule, follow schedule. Wake up rested, work and help others, self-care, working out, helping others. Okay, make good money. Okay, now the reason I'm asking you this, the reason I'm asking you what's your goal income-wise and what's your ideal vision is because with these two things alone, with your goal and with your vision, if you're really clear on that and you just focus on that, you don't even need to know what I'm going to tell you over the next 45 minutes. Everything I say is just going to be little sprinkles on top of your vision. Okay, because by having the vision, by being clear on the vision, that alone is enough. Type enough. If you understand what I'm saying, your vision is enough. You just need to hold that vision and it will manifest. Everything I'm telling you is going to be sprinkles on top. It's going to be little details. You don't need anything I'm about to tell you. It's all going to be extra. Your vision is enough. You cannot just don't just blow past the vision. Like, okay, got my vision. Now what? no it's like everything i tell you going forward is not going to be anywhere near as important as the vision that you have your vision your the clarity of your vision is so freaking important the only reason i'm doing what i'm doing now the only reason i'm making the kind of money i'm making right now is because it's been my goal and it's been my vision for long enough to for it to become reality you know you, clear enough and long enough clear vision held for long enough it will manifest a clear vision held for long enough will manifest. Someone might want to write that down, post in the chat. A clear vision 
held long enough will manifest. Okay. And way too many people in the business space, they skimp on this vision stuff. They say, oh, mindset's important, but then they skip it. It's, it's everything. It's everything. Okay. So get really clear on that life vision. Um, might want to write it out in more detail and just look at that every day and, and, and try and make it happen. And because like everything you guys told me, like your day in the life, it doesn't sound unrealistic at all. Everything you just told me sounds pretty basic, you know, help people work out, follow a schedule. None of that's crazy, but it's your ideal vision, right? But those income goals, none of those income goals are crazy. You just got to make it happen. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. First off, high ticket versus low ticket. Uh, when I say high ticket, I generally mean 997 plus. And when I say low ticket, I generally mean 497 or less, but this is gonna differ niche to niche, person to person, okay? Like if you go to the grocery store and you're buying a protein powder and it's $497, you're not gonna be, oh, it's a low ticket protein powder, right? That's a high ticket protein powder. Uh, but generally online, when it comes to courses and coaching programs, 497 or lower is considered low ticket. In my opinion, 997 plus is high ticket. So when I'm saying these two words, now you know what they mean. So let's start with the pros and cons of low ticket. We'll start with the pros of low ticket. The best pro of low ticket is that almost everyone can afford it. Okay. In fact, the fact that you're here right now is proof that you could afford the price to get into this workshop, which was a whopping $15. Now, if I had priced this at $1,500, a lot of people wouldn't be able to afford it. So almost anyone can afford it, which means you can help more people. Type help if you love helping people. If you want to help people, type help. That's really, really what this is all about. Like you're here today because you want to learn how to help people and make money while you're doing it. So the beautiful thing about low ticket is you can help more people. Um, now you might be wondering, Ted, why are you hyping up low ticket right now? I thought we're here to learn how to sell high ticket. Well, low ticket, let's be honest, it, it, you, it's a lot easier to over deliver on low ticket as well because you charge someone 15 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever. You can just give them like thousands of dollars worth of information and they can be like, wow, you're amazing. Thank you so much. So it's really easy to over deliver with low ticket as well. Whereas with high ticket, you know, someone pays you a few thousand dollars or something now you really have to like try to over deliver, but in their mind, they might think it's not worth it, whatever. Like there's a lot of, it's a lot harder to do it. Um, now, some cons of low ticket, though, is, is just the math. Like you guys said, uh, you mean Yelena's goal is to make 70 grand, right? Well, if you do the math, a lot of you goals, a lot of you guys said, sorry, your goal is to make 10 grand a month. Okay, but if you want to make 10 grand a month, like you said, most of you said 10 grand a month, you want to sell like low ticket, generally it's like a $20 book or a course. You need 500 people to buy from you every single month. Type not me if you don't think you can get 500 people to buy from you every single month. If you feel like getting 500 people to buy from you every single month is like unrealistic right now, type not me. Michelle, exactly. Not me, Doreen, exactly. I would even say the same for me right now. That's like insane. I got like 50 people to come to this workshop. 50. Not 500. It's insane. So the math just doesn't work with low ticket, unless you have like, you know, huge following, okay? Um, and with 500 people buying from you, there's also a lot of chances for people wanting a refund, a lot of people wanting to complain, they're gonna complain, like customer support involved. Uh, there's just lot, tons of people giving you money, so of course there's gonna be some drama from time to time there. Um, now the cons of high ticket, uh, when it comes to high ticket now is, most people are gonna tell you I can't afford it. And it's going to really bum you up because you're going to have this amazing program, this amazing product, this amazing service that you offer. And when people say, oh, I really want it, but I can't afford it. It starts to wear on you after a while. You keep hearing people say, I don't have money, I don't have money, don't have money, don't have money. Now, if someone tells you they can't afford it, just know that that's not often the case. Um, oftentimes they can't afford it. They just tell you I can't because it's not in their budget or they don't think it's realistic for them or whatever. So even though people tell you I can't afford it, it just means that, you know, they don't think they can afford it or they don't really see the value in it enough. But this is like one of the biggest cons of high ticket for sure. And most of my money has been made from high ticket. And I hear this all the time. I can't afford it. 
So it's definitely a big, big bummer of high ticket. Um, but the pro of high ticket is the math. Okay. The math is beautiful. If you can get over the emotional uh, crappiness of hearing this all the time, the pro of high ticket is the math. The math just works out. To make $10,000 a month selling a $1,000 program, you only need 10 people who want to change their life every month. Type me if you feel like you can get 10 people who want to change their life every month. 10 people. Say, so, yes, I want to change my life. I'm willing to spend a thousand bucks to do it. Yeah, look at you guys. Everyone's saying me, 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 me. So two minutes ago, you said not me. And now you're saying me. What changed? The price. You're selling high ticket. Now you can do it. The math actually works. This is the beautiful thing about high ticket that I love. But it requires a, a paradigm shift in your head to go from like, oh, I don't think I'm worth $1,000. I think I should just give away my book for $20. Okay, well, good luck trying to make 10 grand a month. Just stay broke. It's not going to work. Like you have to create something that's worth at least a thousand bucks. And then you're in the game. So that's what we're going to do today. Type excited if you're excited to see how to actually do this today, because that's what we're going to do. The math checks out. This is it. Okay. And it gets, it gets better too. Watch this. To make 10 grand a month selling a $2,000 program, you only need five people. Okay. Now it's a lot easy. If you and I were to have a race right now and we say, okay, let's have a race. We both have the same amount. We have the same amount of people in the audience. We're going to race to 10 grand. First one to get to 10 grand wins. You sell a thousand dollar program. I sell a $2,000 program. I'm going to win. And if we switch it and I say, you're allowed to sell a $2,000 program but I'm only allowed to sell a thousand dollar program. You're going to win. It's so much easier to sell five people than it is to sell 10 people. The difference between a thousand dollar program and a $2,000 program is not much type. Not much. If you understand that the difference between a thousand dollar program and a $2,000 program is not much. It's not much as you'll soon see. Okay. And that's the crazy part. I got you guys in here into this workshop to say, Hey, I can teach you how to create a thousand dollar program, but really you could easily take the same principles and just charge two grand for it. Okay. The difference is not much. All right. Now to make a million dollars selling a $5,000 program, you only need 200 people to want to change their life. 200 people. And you make a million bucks selling a $5,000 program. And you say, wow, Ted, $5,000. That's so much different than $2,000. Guys, magic words. Guess how much difference there is between a $2,000 program and a $5,000 program. The magic words, the two magic words, not much. There's not much difference. You can take the same principles that apply to selling a $1,000 program and you can apply them to a $5,000 program. You guys getting this? Is this cool? Type cool if it's pretty cool. Or type uh, unrealistic. If you think it's unrealistic, everything I'm saying right now, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Not much. It's crazy to think this, but it's just the way it is. And again, um, if you don't like what I'm saying, go try and make it work with low ticket. <laughs> it's just the math doesn't check out. It's 200 people you need. That's it. 200 people who want to change their life. So and having done it myself, we now have over like 220 people in our academy paid over five grand for it. Like the million dollars came so much faster than I ever expected. I thought to make a million dollars, it would take me years. Type years if you think it's going to take you years to make a million dollars. Type years if you think it's going to take you years to make a million dollars. Or type months if you think it's just a matter of months. Because if you sell high ticket, it is just a matter of months. If you sell high ticket and you focus, it's a matter of months. To hit a million dollars. Like it's a pretty big number in most people's mind, but if you're selling high ticket, it's just a matter of months. Okay. So if done right, oh, the other, the other pro of high ticket is if you do it right, you can really guarantee a successful result for someone. Okay. You can really guarantee it because they're giving you a thousand dollars. They're giving you $2,000, they're giving you $5,000, which means you have resources to deploy to help them get the result type resources. If when someone gives you thousands of dollars, you're going to put together resources to make sure they succeed type of resources. Yeah. Now, can you really put together a bunch of resources? If someone gives you 20 bucks, 
no, you can kind of give them something, kind of fend for themselves. But if they give you a thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollars, you now have resources to give them and, and implement to make sure they're successful, like additional coaches, additional coaching calls, um, updated this and that, like all the time, up, up to date, you know, courses and things. Like you can keep making things really, really good, a lot of support. Um, and when someone pays, they pay attention, right? So if someone gives you five grand, they're going to pay much more attention than if they were just give you 20 bucks. Or if someone pays you two grand, whatever, they're going to pay a lot more attention if they paid you 20 bucks. So it, it really helps you get results for people when they do pay high ticket, which is a beautiful thing. Now, how to know if you're cut out for selling high ticket? So at the start, I said this, not everyone's cut out for it. So let's find out if you're cut out for it. Okay. Personal requirements here. You need to have changed your life for the better in some way. Type me if that's you. You have to have already changed your life for the better in some way. You can't be some dipshit, not into self-improvement at all, just going through life, looking to make a buck. This isn't for you if that's for you. You need to be someone who's already changed your life for the better in some way. Cool. A lot of you said me. Most of you said me. Number two is you believe that the method that you used to change your life can also change someone else's life if they apply it correctly. Type a method if you believe this to be true, that the method you used to change your life can also change someone else's life if applied correctly. Method, 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 yeah, right? So now you guys are two for two. You've already changed your life for the better and the same method that you used, someone else can use, right? Two for two. Next, you believe that others would be happy to trade some of their money to change their life for the better. Type trade if you believe this to be true. That others would be happy to trade. Hey, here's some money. Here's a thousand bucks. Here's two thousand bucks. Here's five thousand bucks. Just change my life. Type trade if you believe this to be true. Yes. Mark, Fiona, Z. Yes. Right? So there you go. And then now, also, you need to be okay with speaking to people about their situations. You have to be okay with talking to people, be it one-on-one -on, -one on the phone, Zoom, or in a group workshop like this. Type talk if you're okay with talking to people. <laughs> you guys said okay. <laughs> talk. Yeah, you're okay with talking to people. Cool. Now, awesome. so far, you guys are hitting all the requirements. Um, and lastly, you genuinely love to help people. Type of love if you genuinely love to help people. Like you would help people for free. You're that type of person. You, you love helping people so much that you would not only help people for free, but you would like, you'd pay to learn how to help people even better. So if you fit all those requirements, type 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. You're cut out for a high ticket. If you didn't hit those requirements, you can type not me, and then maybe ask in the Q and A what you can do about that. And I might have another suggestion for you, okay? Because either way, if you don't, if you're not cut out for a high ticket, doesn't mean you can't make a lot of money online. You can, there's different approaches. But those are the requirements for selling high ticket. Now let's get into what makes an irresistible high ticket offer. Something called the Lollapalooza effect. Really cool effect. I, I want to study. I want to geek out so much more on this. I would love to like master the Lollapalooza effect. Uh, so the Lollapalooza effect, in case you guys don't know what it is, it's, it's when a lot of different methods are used at the same time to create um, to, to really increase the likelihood of somebody making a decision or buying something. Okay. So for example, Lollapalooza effect is like when um, something's on discount and all your friends are buying it and all your friends are getting great results with it and celebrities are endorsing it. And you're hearing about it all the time. It's all over the news, right? These are like five things that are going on. Um, and there's a money back guarantee, right? There's like a bunch of stuff going on. Type LOL if you know what I'm talking about. There's just like a lot of different forces coming in to make it. So you're like, I need to get this thing. I need to buy this. 
Fiona gets it, Doreen gets it. Okay, so now, do you guys want to know how to apply the law of blues effect to your offer to make people say like, yes, I need this. Type me if you want to learn the Lollapalooza effect. And I'll give you 13 keys to make it so that when people see your offer, they're like, oh my God, I need this. Like, this is what I need. This is how we create an irresistible offer, you guys. We use the Lollapalooza effect. Human, the human brain can't help itself. When it's affected by the Lollapalooza effect, it can't help itself. It's like, it's like you're, you're applying a, like mass hypnosis in a way. You're like, you're applying mass hypnosis on the crowd and the audience to make it so that they're like, wow, I need this. Okay. Now, if you, again, that's the reason I want to study and master this is because when you get really good at it, you start doing it without even noticing it. It's just like part of what you do and part of who you are. You're just like the Lollapalooza effect type of person. So it's pretty powerful you, having this effect on people unknowingly. So these are the 13 keys. You're going to write this down. Okay. Take notes. You can take notes at all. Take notes right now. 13 keys to an easy sell. Number one, your course or coaching program that you're thinking of offering, it has to have an HDER. Type in the chat if you know what that means. I know some of you know, some of you have been studying my work. It has an HDER. It has to have an HDER. Any idea what that is? I'll give you five seconds. Five, four. Three, two, one. Fiona, ding, 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 ding. A highly desirable end result. Just in the nick of time. Yes. You've got to have a highly desirable end result. So, for example, um, your program, it has to help people achieve something that they really, really want. It's that simple. Like it has to help them fall in love or it has to help them fix their marriage or it has to help them make money or it has to help them lose weight. It has to help them clear their skin. It has to help them get rid of these um, ailments that they have. It has to help them, you know, uh, live longer. Like it has to have a highly desirable end result. It has to help them look more beautiful, be more taller, have more friends, be more popular, get a raise, whatever. Okay, these have a highly desirable end result. And that HDER ideally is part of the big three. So the big three is some examples I just gave you, but essentially the big three is anything. It, 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 it's the three big human needs. It's the, it's the needs that we have as humans that can, that, that can be met online. So for example, a human need is like sleep, okay? Um, you don't really meet that need online. I mean, Airbnb kind of does it, but it's kind of something that's like met in person. You, you just sleep or water. Have, we all have a need for water or hydration, I should say. Um, but you don't really meet that need on, online. Online, yeah, Fiona, the, the big three is like health, wealth, and relationships. So people come online to learn about how to be healthy. People pay money online to learn how to be healthy all the time. Type a one in the chat if you've ever bought an ebook, a recipe ebook, or a course about raw foods or veganism to learn how to be a little bit healthier. I know I have. I geeked out on that hardcore. I bought every raw vegan book I could find. I want to be super, super healthy. I still do. But I feel like, you know, I've learned the basics enough now to not buy anymore. <laughs> but yeah, so we've all, look at that, all of us. Okay, cool. Next one is a wealth. Type a two if you've spent money on learning how to be more wealthy, how to make money. Two, look at us. We've all spent money on it. The fact that you're all here right now is proof that you spent money on it. Okay. And then the third one is type of three. If you've ever spent money on being able to connect with other people, meaning like you've gone to a festival or um, you went to a conference or you spent money on like a dating app or relationship coaching. Yeah. One, two, three, boom. Everyone's saying three, three, three. So You've all proven that it, if it works. Okay, so those are the big three. It's health, wealth, and relationships. And if you've got a highly desirable end result in one of those three categories, your thing's going to be so easy to sell already. The hardest part's already done. Just getting clear on that. Next is it's 
the thing you're wanting to sell, it's proven to sell and or it's already being sold right now. Now, a lot of newbies, a lot of beginners, they do the opposite of this. They say, I can't think of something that no one else is already offering. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be original. The thing I want to offer, everyone else is already offering. And when I hear that, I'm like, wow, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. In fact, I don't even want to work with you if your thing isn't already being sold by someone else. I only want to work with you if the thing that you want to sell, other people are already selling it. It's the best, okay? You're not trying to be an inventor here. You're trying to be an entrepreneur. If you want to be an inventor, go lock yourself up in a laboratory and try to invent something. That's cool, but that's not what being an entrepreneur is all about. It's not what helping people is all about. Sell what's already being sold. People are clearly saying, this is helpful. I want to buy more of it. Okay. The next thing is it, your offer is backed by a story of transformation. So a big piece of what we do with our clients is we help them come up with their story of transformation. So for example, um, if you're selling a weight loss program, you want to come up with a really good story of either yourself or a client or someone you know who went from being overweight to being fit and healthy and sexy. Or if you're teaching how to make money, how you went from being broke or not having a clue how to make money to then making a lot of it. Or if you were teaching relationships, maybe talk about how you were single your whole life, couldn't find your soulmate, and then you did something and you found your soulmate. So you transform from single to in love. Okay. Some form of transformation needs to occur. And if your offer is backed with a story of transformation, it'll sell really well. Next is uh, it's offered over the phone. Okay. If you offer something over the phone, it's so much easier to sell than if it's just a checkout page. Checkout pages work, but phones are far more likely to convert because you're trustworthy. You're, you're, you're speaking to someone on the phone. They're much more trustworthy than just a random checkout page. Okay. Next is when you're on the phone, you customize it for them. So instead of saying, okay, Fiona, um, yeah, the program is a thousand bucks and you can join now. I would say, okay, Fiona, for you, based on what you're wanting to do, I think that um, this part of the program is the part that's really going to benefit you the most, and you should just focus on that part of the program. Or if, let's say your program, we'll get into this later, but if your program has like, you know, four or five different pillars in it, like sections, then you tell Fiona that, like if Fiona says like, um, she needs a lot of help with um, organizing her kitchen or something, because I know Fiona's into that. I'd say, Fiona, um, the program's broken up into, into four stages, but the first stage is the main stage. And it's like the main focus, of the entire program. And that is all about organizing your kitchen, which I've customized it for her. Now, if I was talking to Mark, I might say, Mark, the program's broken up into four stages. Um, but the second stage, the stage that's all about building your business, that's like the main part of the whole program. So if Mark was interested in building his business, I would say that. So you want to customize it for them. So it's still the same program for everyone, but you customize the pitch for the person you're speaking with. This makes it sell so much easier because the person feels like it's, it's for them. Okay. Huge tip right there. Uh, next is it, your offer. It should use a clear system to get that HDER. So clear system. Like I said, if you broke, break your program up into four stages, that would be the system. Okay? And I'll, I'll show you what our clear system looks like in a, in a sec, but you want to have a clearly outlined system that actually gets people to HDER. So if you're going to help people lose weight, you don't just say, oh yeah, I, I help you lose weight. You'd be like, no, I bring you through four clear stages that help you lose the weight. First, we get your diet dialed in. Then we get your fitness dialed in. Then we get your mindset dialed in. Then we get your lifestyle dialed in or whatever it may be. But you have a system that you follow step-by-step. Next, it comes with a guarantee. If you can offer a guarantee with your offer, it will sell so much better. People love guarantees. Okay. We try, we've used a whole bunch of different guarantees in the past and they all work really, really well. Um, next is it comes with a discount. One of our favorite discounts that work well is an action takers discount or a decision makers discount. Okay. So the price is this. But if you decide within the next 24 hours, the price is just this. It's a big discount. So it gets people to actually take action. Now, 
Uh, another one is there are limited spaces. Okay, if you can only handle like, you know, four or five clients at a time, say so. Say, hey, this month I'm only working with four clients and two of the spots are already full. So if, if that's true, say it. Uh, next is your thing has to be proven to work. Has to actually be proven to work. And you show the proof. Okay. If you show proof, you show social proof, that, that alone is like, man, the reason people buy stuff is because they're certain it's going to work for them. So if you don't show proof that it works, it's hard for people to want to buy it. And if you show proof that it works, it's easy for people to buy. This is a huge Lollapalooza piece right here. Number 12, you're enthusiastic about it. Enthusiastic, enthusiasm is contagious. I'm sure you've all heard that quote before, but if you're really enthusiastic about it, it's, it's, it's going to carry off on the other person. They're going to be enthusiastic about joining. And then lastly, it's niche specific. So uh, we help people build and grow their vegan business. And when we're on the phone with people, we ask them sometimes, we say, so there are lots of people out there helping you grow and start a business online. How come you want to work with us? Everyone says, because you focus on the vegan space, because you guys are vegan, because you guys help vegans. I guess we hear it almost every time we ask the question. Uh, so being niche specific, it's cool because people feel like, and this is correct that they feel this way, but they feel like you know them better than other people. So if you're niche specific, then it's awesome because you do know the, them better than some random coach, you know? So being niche specific is, is really, really, really important. Type helpful if that was helpful, if having these 13 keys is helpful. Doreen, helpful, Z, helpful, cool. So if you, if you make sure you got these components going for you, then you'll be good. Okay, here's what to include in your high ticket offer. Um, you wanna make sure you have an educational component, like a course or some coaching calls to actually educate people. You want to make sure you have a support system, which again is just coaching calls, those like small group coaching calls. Uh, you want to make sure you have a community, either like a Facebook group or a school group. I'll show you what school is in a moment here. And you want to make sure you offer bonuses. People love bonuses, whether these are surprise bonuses or you know, pre-talked about bonuses. Uh, you want to have bonuses, either eBooks, audiobooks, worksheets, workshops, whatever. Just give bonuses. People love those. That right there is what you want to include. You might want to take a screenshot in case you're wondering like, oh my God, what should I include in my high ticket program? I'm so confused. It's all right here. It's all right here. You can set all this stuff up in just a couple of days. It's like, it need not take longer than a couple of days to set all this up. Got education, support, community, and you got bonuses. That's what to include in a high ticket program. Now here's how to actually structure your high ticket offer. Yeah, bonuses that cover objections, Fiona. Yeah, yeah. Some, if you're wondering what sort of bonuses to cover um, or include, if people are having certain objections like, oh, it's going to take too long or I don't know if I can do it on my own. If those are your top two objections. Can't do it on my own and it's going to take too long. Make your bonuses be like, hey, this is like the speed trial run. It's going to make you go through so much faster. It's going to save you like, you know, hours of time or months of time. And then this bonus is going to make it so you can do it all by yourself. It's going to be step-by-step -step tutorial so you can do it all by yourself without needing anyone else. So, yeah, cool. Here's how to actually structure the high ticket offer. Um, this is my patent pending approach to structuring a high ticket offer. Uh, I like to break up a high ticket offer into three sections. I've got pillars, which are equivalent of continents. Like you got North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, Antarctica, right? You got seven different continents on the planet. Pillars are kind of like that. Okay. They're these big sections. Then you've got stages to a high ticket offer. And stages are equivalent of like a country. So here we have Google Earth and you see Canada. So each individual country now is a stage of your program. And then you have lessons within those stages. And within countries, what do you have? You have cities, 
It was Vancouver. That's where I live in Vancouver, Canada. Okay. So you've got pillars, which are continents. You've got stages, which are countries. And you've got lessons, which are the cities within. So here's an, ex here's an example of pillars in case you're wondering. So this is what we have for our uh, course creator Academy program. Our first pillar, or the first thing, the first way I broke it up is I'm like, okay, let's, let's get clear on um, the pillars. So we have four pillars. First pillar is product brainstorm and build. So we get clear on like what it is that you want to actually create. And then we build it. We start, we start outlining, we start putting it all together. Then we have the second pillar, which is growing an audience around that product. Let's say your product is, actually, give me an example. Let's, in the chat, give me, what's your product? Or what do you want your product to be? If you know. Let's use a real example here. Sleep and energy. Okay, perfect. So you're going to help people sleep better and have more energy. So we brainstorm a product around that and then we build a product around that. And then, or sorry, we, we brainstorm and build a product that helps people achieve that result of being able to sleep better and have more energy when they wake up. Now we start growing an audience around people who want to sleep better and have more energy. So it's a niche specific audience. And then we put together an automated sales system, the third pillar now. We put together an automated sales system so that people can go from being in your audience, going from consuming your content to actually becoming a client. So from content to client, turning DMs, comments, likes into actual sales. Okay. Now, after the third pillar, once sales are coming in, you take some of that money that you're making and you start hiring assistants and extra coaches and maybe tech person or graphic designer and stuff. Start building your team to take care of a lot of the hard work for you. Customer support, all that. That's the fourth phase of the team building. Okay. So those are the four pillars. And once you've got those dialed in, you're, you're pretty set. So those are pillars. And then here's an example of stages. So what you want to do is you take each pillar and you break it up into stages. So you, let's pick the first one, product brainstorm, product build, and we're going to expand on that. And again, this is what you guys want to do for your program as well. You want to get clear on what are your pillars? What are your like three to five things, three to five main things. And then on the next exercise, you want to really expand upon each one in, in a lot more detail. So generally from the pillars, you got three to five. You want to then write out your stages. And for this, you want to have like eight to 12 stages per pillar. Eight to 12 stages per pillar. So this is the product brainstorm and build stage. These are 12, uh, sorry, product brainstorm and build pillar. Um, now we're going to break them up into different stages. So in order to help you come up with the best product and, and help you build it, first, we're going to come up with your strengths and your passions. What are you really into? Then we're going to write out your story and talk about the results you have now. Then we're going to get clear on the highly desirable end result that you're going to help people get. We're going to create your offer stack. Like what are you actually going to deliver to people? We're going to write out like a, like a, a mock prototype ideal client testimonial. Uh, we're going to help you create your, your pillars, your stages, your lessons for your program. We're going to come up with your program name, come up with your branding, and then create your community. Does this make sense? Type sense if this makes sense and type dollars if you think this will make you a lot of dollars if you do it right cents and dollars are good too cents with the dollar sign nice michelle cool and guys if at any time this isn't making any sense or whatever just type confused in the chat and i will stop and make sure you're no longer confused I want to make sure this is really, really clear for you. So I'm just giving you an example again of how, I'm, how I've broken up our course into this. And we don't even sell Course Creator Academy anymore. So I'm like, yeah, this isn't like a, one of those secret ways of pitching you or anything. This is like an old program that we used to sell. These are the pillars. And then we broke it up into these different stages. 
from there, now you need to go into lessons. And so I need a lesson for each, each of these. So if we, I have 11 stages, now I need a few lessons for each stage. So lesson example, there's usually like two to five lessons per. Um, so the story lesson, so number two on here is your story and results. So we have people come up with their story. For that, we have like four key lessons that we teach people when it comes to writing their story. We help them get clear on like what's what's their status quo like how how was their life normal before how how were they just like an average everyday kind of person how were they relatable to the average person you got to write out how you're relatable to people so they can actually relate with you then you want to go into your brutal before so people start to feel sorry for you and maybe you can even like level with where they're at now Right. Or maybe you can make it seem like, hey, if it was that bad for you, it can't be that hard for the person listening. So you brutal before. We got to talk about that. Then we got to talk about your divine discovery. What did you discover? What new method or um, secret did you discover that changed everything for you? And then now, where are you at now? Like, are you on the cover of men's magazine? Are you super rich and famous? Are you in love? Are you healthy and happy? Like, what's your, where, where's your like, ah, now moment at? Okay, so that's, that's like the story lesson, how you break it up. Okay, so that's how you structure the offer. Now, how do you price your high ticket offer? Well, good general rule of thumb is start low and go higher. Okay, um, I'm going to show you how I priced my high ticket offer. And this is kind of embarrassing to show you guys because uh, it's, I feel very, I don't, I don't know why, but I feel very vulnerable sharing what I'm about to share with you guys um, because I don't think I've shared it much. This is like really new for me to share this, but I'm going to share with you how I started pricing mine and like the mentality I had to go through, the mind shifts I had to go through to get to where I'm at now, charging what I'm charging now. Because I know a lot of people have issue like not knowing what to charge uh, for their program. And so I just figured I'd, Show you how I figured it out as I went along. I started at 297. And I, I really over-delivered at 297. And then that made me a shitload of money selling a program for 297. Um, my first month was like over 18 grand selling my program for 297. And then I'm like, what would happen if I charged 497? And then I started making like over 20 grand a month with that. And then I'm like, well, what would happen if I started charging like a thousand bucks for the program? And just kept making more with that. And I was like, okay, well, if people are buying, I, I, I still remember, so I, I, I remember very clearly each of these numbers. So number one, I remember showing my friend, no, number one, I remember just trying it and hoping it would work. 297, please people buy, please people buy. And I like deliver like this epic offer for 297. I was praying people would buy and they bought like crazy, made a lot of money. And then at 497, I tried to make the offer even better. And I remember showing my friend in the living room. I said, hey, bro, what do you think? I'm going to, I'm thinking of offering all this for just 497. And he's like, you're crazy. Like, that's way too cheap. You should be offering way more than that. And I'm like, perfect. That's what I want to hear. So I charged, charged 497. And people bought like crazy. Uh, and then I went months at 497, thinking that that was very high. And I felt very good every time I made a sale. But then I went into Nashville and I hung out with a bunch of millionaires. And the one thing I noticed that all these millionaires had in common was guess what? What did all the millionaires have in common? I'll give you a hint, it has something to do with number three. What did all the millionaires have in common? I was selling a uh, coaching program on how to uh, make sales with eBooks and courses and coaching programs, low ticket stuff. What did all these millionaires have in common? Give you a hint, it has something to do with number three. Yeah, Yelena, they all had a program that was 997 and up. And so I remember after hanging out with them, I said, ah, damn it, I'm going to go home right now and I'm going to create my 997 offer. So I went home and I geeked out, I brainstormed how I could make my offer better. And then I charged 997. And I remember making my first 997 sale. And I still remember to this day, I went to bed that night, laying there and I smiled thinking, I have a 997 offer. I made it. 
I have a 997 offer. I was so freaking happy. And so I think that emotion I felt that night, feeling that happy when I sold my 997 offer is the same. I mean, that's the cause of me doing this workshop with you guys here today. Cause I'm like, it made me feel like I really, I made it. When I started selling programs at 997, I feel like I had made it uh, into like the, the big leagues. And from there, after selling a few 997, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to see if I can charge 1297. Boom. No problem. I'm going to see what happens if I can charge 1497. Boom. No problem. I'm going to see what happens if I charge 1997. Boom. No problem. Then what happened was when I went to 2497, someone had found out somehow that I was charging 1497 like a few weeks prior. And because I was like on like this massive ramp up, um, I kept upping my price, right? And so by the time they spoke with me, they said, uh, okay, Ted, you know, we're in. What's the price? And I was like, it's just 2497. And they were like, what? They're like, they're like, but we just talked to so and so like a few days ago when it was 1497. How did it go up a thousand dollars in just a few days? And I was like, yeah, that was like a few weeks ago. And they're like, so how does the price rise that much? And I remember like they were super um, upset. Um, but that's just the way it goes. You know, prices go up. If you miss the boat, you miss the boat. So 2497. And I had to, I had to battle for that. And then I was like, wait, people are buying 2497. Let's try 2997. People bought 2997. And then um, I, I stayed at 2997 for a long time. And then I attended a uh, two-day intensive workshop, kind of like what we're doing right now. Very intense, very full on, a lot of education for two straight days, like eight hour days. And the one thing everyone at that workshop had in common was, guess what? Has something to do with number nine. Guess what everyone had in common at this workshop? I went into the workshop selling 2997 and everyone there had a 4997 plus offer. So I felt like the little, the little kid and I had to, I wanted to be at their level. So finish that workshop. I said, I'm going to charge 4997. Started charging 4997. And it was just as easy. I remember making my first sale actually in this room. I made my first 4997 sale in this room. I remember going, it was a sunny day. It was like summertime. I go out there and I was just like, oh my God, she bought. She actually bought, this is like a couple of years ago now, so excited. And it was just as easy as selling the 497 program, the 297 program. In fact, guys, guess what the difference was between the program and guess what the difference was in the difficulty of selling the program at 497 versus 297. Guess the difference. Magic words, two magic words. What was the difference between me selling my 297 program and my 497 program? Two words. Not much. That's it. So, guys, I'm, I'm like, the, what I just shared with you, I mean, I just, hopefully I just saved you a lot of time. Hopefully you don't have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just, just move quickly. Like, like if you're going to start at two, nine, seven, every time you make a sale, just bump it up. You don't need any more proof than one sale. If you're going to start at two, nine, seven, promise me that you're going to bump it to four, nine, seven. As soon as you make that one sale, bump it to nine, seven. As soon as you make that one sale, like allow yourself one sale at each rung. Then we started doing 7,500. And then we feel like we met, we, we hit saturation at 7,500. So we just stayed there. So that's it. Yeah. After Yelena made a 497, she immediately bumped up 97. Yeah. Now, again, again, good general rule of thumb is to start low and go higher, but you don't need to wait around at the low point. You can just go up pretty, pretty quickly. So how do you then after my first, Lena, Yelena, after her first 97, I went to 1997. There we go. Yeah, Yelena could be charging a lot more too right now. Yelena could easily be at 2997. And she knows it. She knows it. She'll do it. Maybe, maybe today. Maybe today is her day. The only difference, when I, when, I, when I say that there's not much difference, do you guys want to know what the actual difference is? 
The actual difference is when you're on the phone with the person, instead of saying 1997, you say 2997. That's the difference. You guys want to know how to go from 297 to 4997? Here's what you do. Instead of saying the price is 2997, you say the price is 4997. That's the only difference. There's no other difference. You just say it. Just say it. Just say it. In fact, type it right now. How much is your program? How much is your program? Type it. How much is your program? Type it. Doreen, 497. Yelena, 2497. What are you talking about? No, Yelena, how much is your program? Four nine nine seven. Four nine nine seven. There we go. Ten thousand dollars. There we go. Just say it. That's the difference. Holy smokes! All right, here. Here's how to deliver your high ticket offer, whether it's two nine seven or whether it's ten thousand dollars. This delivery is not going to make a difference. First thing you're going to want to do is, well, actually, um, this onboarding. I didn't realize we're getting to onboarding, so maybe there's a difference. What I'm going to share with you, this onboarding process. This would be for if you're selling something at one nine nine seven and above. Okay, I, it's not written here, but when I, what I'm about to show you is good if you're selling something at 1997 or above. Okay, here we go. Number one, you get them to sign an agreement. We use PandaDoc for this. You can use anything you want. Um, numbers one and number two can be flipped. Number two is take a payment. You either take a payment and get signed an agreement or you sign an agreement and then make the payment. We have clients who do both. Uh, our most profitable client, the client who's making the most money, does the agreement first and then they do Stripe. But most people just do the payment first and then they do the agreement. Totally up to you. Either way, um, get them sign an agreement. Then take the payment and then give them an onboarding tour. Spend a good 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes with them, giving them a tour. Generally, the tour, you're going to give them a tour of the Facebook group or the school group, wherever you're hosting your community. Um, so yeah, go through the community, give them a tour, show them like what it's like, maybe share your screen on Zoom. And then make sure they get on the support calls. Make sure they're attending the Zoom calls with a small group one-on-one -on -one calls. Okay. And then make sure they're going through the education component. Uh, education, you can just, uh, one way of delivering it is just to create a Google Doc have like a checklist on a Google doc, give them that. And the Google doc can have links to videos, like unlisted YouTube videos inside there. Um, but that's it. That's how you deliver a high ticket offer. They sign an agreement, they the payments made, they get the tour, they join the community, they hop on some calls and they go through the educational component. That's how to deliver. Okay, type deliver, if that makes sense. Deliver, 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 deliver. Cool. Guys, if you have questions, post them in the Q&A. All right, here's how to actually sell a high ticket offer. This, I mean, I could do a whole, whole other workshop just on the selling part, but I'll give you a general gist of how it's done here. I'm trying to overcomplicate it. So uh, CO stands for checkout. I thought I changed it. Yeah, I did there, but not on this one. Okay, CO stands for checkout. So one way to sell a high ticket offer is you get people to come to a webinar and at the end of the webinar, oh, I keep, I gave some of you guys some webinar training. Some of you guys who signed up for like last week's workshop, they got canceled. You, I gave you guys a bunch of webinar training. I don't know if you guys went through that. If you did, um, if you didn't, I'll email it out after. It's a freaking awesome webinar training. It shows you how to conduct a, killer webinar uh, that converts. Did anybody go through that webinar training? Type training if you went through it. It's like the ultimate webinar training. It's the best webinar training that you're not gonna find anywhere else. It's like, I've learned from all the masters. I applied all their techniques, all their Lollapalooza techniques. And uh, it's worked really well for me and I've refined the process and I've recorded how I did. I broke down slide by slide how I did my webinar. I recorded it, I'm gonna give it to you guys. So don't worry, 
you didn't miss it. I'll send it to you after. Just remind me because I might forget. I'm likely to forget. So remind me, please. Anyways, how to sell a high ticket offer. Get people to come to a webinar, send them to a checkout page. Done. It's that simple. That's one way. Issue with that is uh, it's not, you didn't talk to them on the phone, right? So you're missing that key piece. It's like you didn't talk to them on the phone. Therefore, you didn't customize it for them, right? You, like you're missing a huge component. Um, so I used to do che webinar checkout when my product was under 997. Once my product went above 997, that's when I started doing this method, which is webinar to application to a call. Okay. So for an application, we use JotForm. So we get people, people can watch the webinar and then they fill out a JotForm application. And then if they fill out the JotForm application correctly, meaning they like put all the answers that, that we want to see, um, then they get prompted to hop on a call with us. They can book a spot on our calendar. Okay, this method works really well. This is how the majority of my money was made last year. And if you're wondering how do you get people to attend a webinar, uh, there's, a, there's really three ways of getting people to attend a webinar. You either pay for ads and add some people to the webinar, or you pay an influencer to promote your webinar to their people, and you give them like a cut or percentage of your profits or something, or per sale or whatever, you work out with them. Uh, or you just pump out organic content, really good organic content that sends people to your webinar. Those are your only three ways. You're either buying traffic from Facebook or YouTube, or you're teaming up with an influencer, some leveraging their list, their audience, or you're creating organic content and sending it to webinar. Those are the only three ways. Okay. Um, boom. So simple. Don't overcomplicate it. It's that simple. Lastly, we've been making a lot of money from this lately, and a, you know, a lot of our clients have been crushing with this method. This is the method now we, that we primarily teach. This is the method that we primarily help people get set up properly now, is we help people, uh, and we recommend you do this right now too, is you have a free Facebook group. Inside that Facebook group, you get people in the DMs. From the DMs, you get them on a call, and from the call, you get them into your program. Now, why would they join your free Facebook group? Because your free Facebook group should be giving them free stuff. Like we give out so much free stuff in our Facebook group. Type free stuff. If you ever gotten anything free from me inside of our Facebook group, we give out like two or three free things every week. Yeah, feeling that free. Yeah, so free Facebook group to DM to call. That's how you sell high ticket offer. This seminar was about to how to do it technically. Uh, the technically, I mean, the technically, I mean, anyone, uh, going into the weeds and the technical stuff, like has up a Facebook group. That's pretty, that's pretty easy. You could probably do that. Um, setting up the webinar. I think I have some training on that. I'll send you, I'll send you all the training I have on the webinar stuff, but if you need help with technical stuff, like it's going to differ person to person. Everyone has different preferences, different platforms. That's totally like, that has to be customized. So what I'd recommend if you want to um, get into the technical stuff is like draw it out how I've drawn it out here. And then I would hire like a freelancer for like 25, 30 bucks an hour or something. And you can work with them and they could set that up with you. But uh, yeah, this today's workshop, I can't go into all the technical stuff because that would take like hours. That would take like 10 hours to go through and set all of that up. That's what we do inside of our vegan business and weekend program. But um, yeah, this is like how to do it properly. The technical stuff anyone can do once they know what to do. Yeah, how to create a website that would take like hours to show how to do. But once you know how to do it, it's so easy. Anyone can do it. This, this is the important part. So that's how to actually sell the high ticket offer. Um, again, I'll, I'll send, make sure to send you my webinar training. And if you're interested in how to do the free Facebook group stuff, you can just study what we do in our Facebook group, vegan creators, um, works really, really well. So yeah, that's that. Now, do you guys want to see me break down my pitch for my current high ticket offer right now? Like I'll break down the, what I say and why I say it. 
Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we're way past time, but that's okay. Sorry. I didn't realize we we're going to go into this so long. Might need, to, might need to do a two-part workshop here. Okay. So at the end of my webinars, I typically say something like this. 